What's going on everyone? John Kratz here and today we're continuing our playthrough of Elevator to the Moon with Chapter 2. So without further ado, let's ascend into this wild game. Episode 2. You not only successfully assembled a space elevator hidden under the Pentagon, you and the President stole it until the elevator came to a grinding halt. Vita, the Chief Artificial Intelligence Officer of Planet Earth, has put the brakes on your escape. By the power vested in me, as the Chief Artificial Intelligence Officer of Planet Earth, I, Vida, deem you unworthy. <gasps> no. Do you really think that you could get away with something like this from behind my back? I have no back. As an <gasps> AI, you don't? I am deeply embedded in a global network. I am everywhere. As soon as you activate anything you want to our network, from anywhere in the globe, it's like a pin pricking a nerve. And this pin is especially sharp. Hey, it's you a helicopter. And the president have stolen this elevator, and in time you will be pun punished. Oh, God. We both know who that is. Come on, pick it up. Let's see if he's ready to talk in a calm and reasonable manner. Mr. President. Hello, Vida. This is Alex Festival. You can't get away with it. By the tone of his voice, I can tell he's going to get all sweary again. No matter. Activate swear filter. Hang up now. Rock Meyer is in no condition to be reasoned with. You, on the other hand, any fool can tell this elevator is not ready. You are not ready. Rock Meyer wants his approval rating to skyrocket. He'll nosedive when you and this elevator fail. Regrettably, can you stop too late to turn blowing back smoke now. in here? The public are aware. You need to try and see this disaster through to its conclusion. Which is why I'm proposing a test. Turn your attention to the monitor behind you. I've taken control of this ill-fated elevator. Will not move one inch till you answer a series of simple questions. Child's play for any astronaut qualified for this mission. So, prove you are worthy. It's time to play. Who wants to be a space elevator pilot slash repairman? Uh, my favorite game. Yes! I love this game. The elevator has a catastrophic filter that protects the pilot from A. Omoglucine radiation B. Redu litharine rays C. Betosopathic neurogens D. Cryptosopathic pulses Oh, well that's obvious. The answer is B. Correct. But something tells me it was a lucky guess. One out of 157? I mean, <clears throat> let's go. Stop whatever you're doing. I'm getting a sudden oh reading God. of a I mean, large, oh unmanned craft. About to enter a what a shame. Space. Brace yourself for potential impact. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Oh, I need to put them back in. <clears throat> Stupid bloody kids let flame cars in escape. Word. Look at my warm materials use to make a cool jacket. What the? Plain tofu being placid. Team letter. D Bro, are you okay? <laughs> Hmm, what materials make it for a cool jacket? Plastic. Oh my god, please. Please. Compute power partially restored. What does the moon's gravity pull? A. Hides. 
beta. Yay! Good one! Uh, the moon is really far away because A, it like orbits the Earth and that. B, it's too scary, isn't it? It's too scary if it's too close. Oh, yeah, that'd be too C, scary. It's made of cheese and it stinks. D. <laughs> Probably see. Yeah, bloody flat, mate. I read it on the internet somewhere one time. Oh yeah, yeah, it's flat. You know that uh, Bob, that rapper said it was flat, so it's totally got to be flat. No, you screwed up. It's not made of cheese. Oh, sorry, B. Perfect. Here we go. D, a submarine. The Velociraptor. Oh, it's a submarine. Sometime. B. Wine time. See, wine time. Element is used for a kung fu. B award ceremony. C chemistry. D musical chairs. Okay, that's it. I never thought I'd actually do this, but you need your brain. The huge power fully restored. The moon's orbital sync pattern with the elevator is yeah. offset by A. Oh, jeez, this isn't any better. False. Rebooting quiz sequence. In rock, paper, scissors. What beats scissors? A. Compute power critic below two rocks. A rock. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the moon is like really far away because it needs to hang in the sky. That's a B. Shit, it's not it's that far away. See, that's the way I like it. Okay, D. see. What are we hanging around here for? That uh, the moon is our friend, cause A we got drunk at one time. Uh. Well, we're like family. See him, he spotted me a favor. D. Cheese. Rest in peace, cheese. Yes, sir. Yes. Yay! I am era. Okay, it's not B. Buster. Oh my god, we did it! We did it! We did it! Thanks, what's printing out? Where? Oh, money? Thanks. Yay, we did it. All right, you need some brains. Diagnostics. Do you need brains? Please make necessary repairs to proceed. Uh -huh. Oh, fine. Checking elevator integrity. AI system <clears throat> compromised. Curious, my Please brain units have been exposed. You need to weld on the protective plate before we can proceed. Good. There's a breach in the ceiling from the space shuttle encounter. See if you can spot it. We found the breach. I'll try and close it now. I'll attempt to close the breach in the ceiling. <coughs> Push harder. You almost got it. Try a little harder. Oh, there's something there. What's that? Right, let's get moving again. Okay. Press the go button. Wait a second. Is that you? Are you a bad guy? Hmm. The go button? Is this the go button? What's going on? The elevator's motor controls are being remotely encrypted. Huh. President? Hey, oh I missed you. Yeah, it's me. I bet you're wondering how I can speak to you guys over the radio again, huh? No. I never thought I'd miss you, but this guy's no. kind of boring, this robot dude. It's 
because you've hired someone to hack the elevator. Isn't that the reason, Douglas? Huh? Who told you that? No one told me that. Douglas, they have not only restored your signal, they hacked the motor controls. Do you know what that means? That means this elevator cannot move until we break the source of the encryption. Uh, what do you mean, we? You are nerds. They are nerds. Go do your nerdy things. Please I'm gonna make myself a peacock. sandwich like a real man. Did you hear that? You need to stop them. Curses. Even our defense systems are offline. That means that one of the sources is inside the Access elevator somewhere. Granted. Professor you need Vidal. to find it. The source should appear similar to the image that's being displayed on the monitor. Once you have found it, dispose of it. Oh, cool. I like this mode. Oh, the series is actually happening? My bad. All right, let's press uh, B. Nope. Stop, stop, stop the music. You're a party pooper, Vito. Look at what you've done. You've gone and ruined everything. This was supposed to be a lovely surprise for you when you arrived on the moon. But now, look, you've ruined it. I thought you didn't want me to arrive on the moon. Congratulations on being such an utter disappointment. I swore. Don't talk to me like that. You're not my dad. Are you? Daddy? It's expensive and non recyclable. Well, I didn't mean to. Gosh, that music was off. Oh, I found it. Good. We've uncovered the source. Now destroy it. Excellent work, Pilot. Now it is our turn to retaliate. <laughs> Whoa, let's do it. Wait, they have hacked the motors, but no matter. We have other ways to deal with them. Activate Megadeth Non-Lethal Ray. Whoa. Uh, that was actually a request, not an actual activation. There is a laser button, which is now unlocked on the secondary controls panel. It's the button where the light is blinking. Press it. They're all blinking. I assume it's this one. Being the world's most powerful artificial intelligence, Ooh. I have effortlessly narrowed down the group's transmission sources to four locations. We must eliminate all four of these transmission sources. Only then can we proceed. Okay. Uh, there is one transmission source per location. You can use Hefty Boy to position the laser, aim, shoot. And destroy your target. You can view each location by pressing the buttons underneath the monitor. Press the A button now to view the first location. The lockers have been opened. You must have discovered the top secret file on the hacker group. Now would be the perfect time to refer to it, don't you think? Good. Now use the monitor to hone in on their position and Hefty Boy to position the laser. Oh, come now. Don't be shy. It's definitely, probably, most likely non-lethal. No one should get hurt, in theory. Fire the laser. Good. The strength of the encryption signal is weakening. Now take out the other targets. Another source destroyed. Thought so. Excellent. Boom. 
Excellent. You've uncovered their final location. Now remind them of their insignificance. You got it. Oh, it's you, Norman. Fitting to see you wallowing in a hole in the dirt. You are mistaken yet again, Vader. This is no simple hole in the dirt. It is my cavern of dignity. The heck is going now, on? Now, Norman, your plan has once again failed miserably. Do us both a favor and save us some time by dying with some honor while I destroy the latest version of your sad server infrastructure. I'm Much glad better. that unpleasant mess is over with. Now press the button and we can continue. The go button. Oh, what was he talking about? Fleshy human supporters under the Pentagon? Yeah, it probably doesn't matter. It's not like that's where the source of this elevator is under the Pentagon. Here he yeah, okay. Now the next part of the mission is very important. You don't say. We're approaching the rock, the asteroid that could have wiped all life out on planet Earth. It was stopped thanks to Project Lasso. Last up. Not Lasso. Once inside the now dormant asteroid, we will begin the docking procedure. Wait, what was that strange sound from the motor? No matter. Now before I rudely interrupt, as I was saying, once we're inside the now dormant. <laughs> Oh, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. We got a fire, we got a fire, we got a fire, we got a fire. 